supposedly a terrifying piece, if I do say so myself. I'm so honored to be the one to catalog you and test if you're mm, too cursed or just cursed enough to be in this place. Whether you're balancing that fine line or not. Oh, come in, Catherine, come in. You have all the supplies okay? Yeah, I see that. Excellent. Thank you. I would usually do this myself, but the boss wants it to be two people doing some of the cataloging and other work, since we're working with a possibly very potentially dangerous and cursed item, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate you working alongside me for this part, at least. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I've just brought them out now. I took off the cage just before you got in here, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so you see, I put a special barrier, salt, the certain symbols for protection for us. Yeah, but we should be fine. From what I noticed, some people said this object really gave them the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Very scientific term there. But, I don't know. I'm not getting same type of feeling. I'm definitely nervous, as you seem to be as well. But I'm not just getting as upset as I thought I'd be, especially once I took them out of their container, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. What are your first impressions with them? Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, I was getting that as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, I agree. Alright, well, let's go and deal with the more boring part here, the cataloging of this item. What did they collect in the file so far? Okay. Oh, I see there. Yeah. Of course. So we're going to need to get more measurements, okay? Hmm. Yeah, so I'm seeing here we're going to definitely need to clean them up is also going to help us ensure that there are no curses or other um, symbols or works of magic that are going to uh, not be visible immediately, especially with this layer of dust and dirt around them. Do we know how long they were in that person's attic for? Words of 35 years, I see. Mm -hmm. I can't quite tell the date or era of this item, but we might be able to figure it out. Alright, if you're ready to begin, I'm going to get you to write out as I dictate the basic description of and measurements of our lovely cursed friend here. Beginning, as I said, we're not sure the age, they have this layer of dust. It doesn't smell like anything, it just seems to be just dust 
from what we know they were collected in a very old century home attic, so they could be even older than 35 years. But they have the typical dust and things on them. They have this very fragile appearance to them. So I'm very gently touching them with my gloves here, ensuring there's no oils or anything that could get from my skin onto the item. They seem to be made out of a mix of a porcelain, clay-like material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seemed once like it had remnants of some gold blues, maybe even on the sides and the tops here, this reddish burnt orange color. I'm gonna give it a good clean after, but I believe it sat in a location where it somehow was getting some sun damage um, and light coming through to it, particularly in this top right corner, mm -hmm. as you can see right there. I think there's a little bit of remnants of the sun damage on the back there. So maybe it was sitting near a window in the attic, or there was cracks maybe in the roof and like got through. I'm not really sure, but that's my hypothesis. Hmm. Do some quick measurements. Height is about 11.3 inches mm -hmm. to the T. Width is about 9.1, so very close to 9 inches in width. Depth is going to be about 10, exactly, 10 inches. Mm -hmm. And it's slightly different, actually, on either side. It seems to be a little bit warped. It's about a 9.7 in depth on the left side. Mm. Measurement there, right there, good. Let me measure the circumference here. Okay. That's about thirty six point. Do you need me to repeat any of those numbers for you? Okay. I can yes, I can measure the height one more time for you. Yep, the 11 point. Mm -hmm. Excellent, good. Are there any more measurements that I am required to take? is a bit more of a simple object than the other cursed dolls and other items that we've collected, so it's a little less work in the measuring department. Yeah. There's some dust, as I stated, coming off of my gloves here. But it's helping me to determine that there are no symbols or Objects of worry at the moment that I can see. But that will have to be fully finalized and determined once I do a deep clean of the object. Mm -hmm. Below. And there's not much on the back. There's no designs at all. All the color designs that are kind of in these swirling wave-like shapes 
are more concentrated at the front and sides of the object. A little tiny bit at the top there, but not much. What else do we need to complete in terms of the paperwork there? Mm -hmm. All right. So I will do that cleaning in a moment then. Um, if you have no further questions and things that we need to write down at the moment, I'll let you go. Yeah, it's not a worry. I'm not too worried about this item. If I feel like I'm in danger, I will contact you again. All right, thank you so much for your help, Catherine. All right, cheers. Okay. It is just you and me. Now, I think in terms of next steps. I think I want to give you a good clean with a particular cleaning agent that I have, both so that you are in tip-top shape, but also so I can finalize that you don't have any symbols or uh, displays of prior curses put on you that we should be worried about. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, let me begin that then. So, I have here this very blue but effective liquid. That is a mix of a cleaning solution that is safe for extremely old objects, as well as it is mixed with some lovely holy water. That's just going to help neutralize any sigils, markings that may come to life as I'm cleaning you up a little bit more. And give me a little bit more protection. So, I'm just going to put a little bit over here. Okay. And again, here at the front. Much brighter, much clearer. Your right side here.
Or on the left side. I'm not bit of cooking solution on my gloves, but that's okay. Left side here. Back as well. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm not getting such a great feeling about you, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, that looks like a sigil to me. Mm -mm. I'm not a fan of that. Good. Oh, no, I need to notes on that. Well, you do seem to be hiding some secrets here. There's only one sigil. It's kind of on your left to left front side here that I missed upon initial inspection of you. I need to probably take a sketch of Finally, a little bit there. Okay. okay, so comparing the sigil on to what I've drawn here, uh, just a little bit there. Okay, and 
never seen this type of sigil before. It is remnant and similar to a, a very, very old object that we have in our back storage that is extremely cursed. <laughs> it's got many of a variety of symbols symbol to the one on you here. So not the exact same. I'm gonna have to send this off to be analyzed further by some of our staff. Maybe our experts will have seen this symbol before, but take no personal offense to it, but after finding this, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel so sure now if I should be putting you right into display at our museum at the moment. You're a little bit suspect. Hmm. I'll look back at your file to see what others have said about you when first discovering you here. Okay. Upon discovery of object 667, uh, the staff and redacted. Felt uneasy upon going into the house alone, let alone the attic that contained uh, this object. Staff felt even more uneasy upon further going into the house and up into the attic, whereupon finding uh, nothing else in the attic oh my, other than the object in question. Number 667 was giving off a strong, uneasy feeling to said staff, probably further not helped by being the only object in, left in the attic. Mm -hmm. Staff took all precautionary measures, yada yada yada. Uh, protect themselves while picking up the object. Uh, staff redacted, felt particularly uneasy, heavy, and had a growing headache upon picking up said object and carrying it to the transportation vehicle. Okay. Mm. Staff did not notice any initial signs, sigils, etc. within the attic or on the object itself, though further examination of the region must be done. Well, you seem to have scared my staff quite a bit. I'm surprised I didn't get that feeling initially until I saw the symbol, but I, I, I've seen it somewhere. Maybe on another item in our museum, perhaps. Now I'm very worried about placing you with our other objects that you could, you know, connect with energy-wise, you could clash with energy-wise and ruin uh, the objects that we have that are on display and are currently okay. I'm not sure. Worried about placing you in the public eye right now. Well, Make note of that here. All right. So, object six six seven is determined to currently be on this date, September the twenty first, unfit for display. much further analysis of said objects, history, and especially symbol slash sigil found on left slash left 
frontal side to be studied and determined if the syndrome appears on other objects in the museum. Further, after testing, will the objects cursed determination be determined? Okay. Well. Yeah, I'm sorry, my dear, but I think we're gonna have to keep you in holding for a little bit longer in the back where we can more strongly protect you and protect others from you. At least until we can test your cursed levels and see at what level of cursed you are and how dangerous you could be to my staff, myself, or the public. Hmm. Sorry, but it has to be done. We're going to wrap you up, put you back in your safe uh, storage zone for now, and then we'll pull you out in a couple days and we're going to figure out what we're going to do next. All right? Don't take it personally. I just want to, again, if you can be put on display, ensure that we figure out what this symbol right here is. All right, dear. Well, we'll see you in a couple days. And just take it easy in there. All right. Close your mouth. See you soon.